Good morning. Miss Kitty. Hi. Hi, what are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? I'm having some coffee. So, the pool noodle guy says we have to have good, good content. <laughs> I like his content. It's only 7.30 for Pete's sake. I used to have to be at work at Amazon by 5.30. We didn't... We didn't check in. We checked in at 6.25. And then we had a little exercise routine. I forgot what they called it. I don't know. A lot of military in Amazon. But anyway, they had a name for it. For working out. A little mini workout. Then we have our little morning meeting. Give us an update what was happening. It was fun. I like working there. I really liked working there. And I was really burnt out when the young punk fired me um, for making a joke. I mean, I didn't know kids were so sensitive. Oh my gosh, don't be so sensitive. Where is your sense of humor? He had me fired for making a joke about his fat butt. He was a fat ass in Amazon in a million square foot building that we all had to... Um, we all had to run around that place, but he didn't. He just waddled. <laughs> I was 55. He was probably 25 to 30 at the time. That was 10 years ago. What a punk. They had me fired. He had a bunch of people got fired. A whole lot. In fact, he got fired. All of HR got fired. It was so stupid because it was such a fun place to work. It really was. A lot of constant, constant activity. Never a dull moment. But we see a lot of things at Amazon that people don't know when they buy things. Like, I wouldn't buy food from Amazon. <laughs> Not if you saw how they stored it in stow. <laughs> nuh uh. Girl looking rough this morning, too. But I had a good night's rest. When we started working there, they said, you're going to develop Amazon feet. I was just so excited to be working at age 55. Just doing something felt good. I didn't stop and think about what Amazon feet was, but now I know what it is. It means damage your feet because you're on your feet for 10 hours a day. Hmm. No, because you have one hour, 30 minutes for lunch. And two 15-minute breaks, so, or two 10-minute breaks, I don't remember what it was, so you're not on your feet all day, but it can be painful. A concrete floor, that's cool, if you ever get a chance to go work at Amazon, just do it for the experience. So they have a storage area called Stow, S-T-O-W, <laughs> watching the cat play, and uh, anyway... And it's just, <laughs> okay. um, it's just where they stash things, and it's usually up above on the mez. And uh, I started off as a uh, receiver. It's like working a a grocery checkout. That's what it looked like, a grocery checkout thing. Sitting, you're standing next to a conveyor belt. And here comes all this crap roll boxes of stuff. You had to take them all, and uh. Scan them, scan each one of them, each item, put it in a yellow tote. Once you got it scanned, once you know that the computer, which is hanging right here, and this is your counter, and then there, anyway. So all these yellow totes, yellow totes was a big deal in Amazon, and I'm sure it still is. Yellow totes. A lot of times, the yellow totes, when you get them, you have to scan them to make sure they're empty because they could be virtually full of items that didn't get scanned out. People would unintentionally, but they would take things out of the totes and scan the item and forget to scan the tote. And that's telling the tote that it's now empty. So each time you go into a tote, you would scan the barcode on the handle. Then you'd scan the item inside the tote. 
and then you would scan the barcode again on the outside of the, on the handle and that means you've taken it out of that tote so there was a friend of mine there who uh, her job was to empty the totes all day and you know she had to go into it scan the tote see what's in it all the stuff looked like it was in of course the tote's sitting there empty but it's virtually full of stuff and then she would um just that's what her job was all day long emptying totes <laughs> You know, it was a fun place to work, and the boy had me fired. He did some dirty stuff to me, because when they when they come up to you at the receiving line and the belts are running, you can't hear anything anybody's saying. And we usually we had earplugs, and he was coming to tell me I had a final warning, but I didn't know what he was talking about. I couldn't understand him, and he had a warning for something. I still don't know what it was. It was all contrived, BS. Um, apparently I was going too slow, but I don't see how I held my own. They just, who, if they didn't like you, or if they, if somebody didn't like you, or they just thought, whatever they thought. Amazon's like that. They don't give a shit about people. They really don't. Don't even be fooled by that crap. And don't buy any food from Amazon. Don't. Just don't do that. So anyway, one day I was, um, he came and talked to me, but I couldn't hear what he was saying, so he wanted me to sign it. I signed it. I was busy working. <laughs> what a jerk and so like a, a couple of days later I was stowing and then here he come oh they called me over on the pager that's what it was when we come to the office I was working girls working and so they were terminating me and he was sitting there so mad he was all mad you want you want to know what I was I said about him <laughs> that got me fired by a punk and, and you know what, I don't care. But I had a, a couple, three good years there. I had fun. All right, so he was a big, rotund boy. And here I was, 55, and kept myself slender enough to handle and and walking. I kept myself healthy enough to walk that building at all times. I maintained. And this, this kid couldn't even hang with me. I was pretty bad. So I thought he deserved a little poking. And... <laughs> he was rotund he was young too to be rotund like that and he didn't walk fast everybody in there walked fast we didn't but the, but this boy wouldn't do it and how he got to be a supervisor I don't know he was a jerk I hope he's grown up by now so anyway one day he wore suspenders <laughs> with his jeans and a t-shirt okay but I just told somebody <laughs> I said, he looks like one of them Oktoberfest guys. <laughs> That's all I said. That's all I said. And I guess that person ran and told him, Oh, Peggy said you look like one of those Oktoberfest guys. And you know he did. Because that person laughed when I said it. and said, yeah, he does look like that. And that was his reason for firing me. But Amazon's so flaky. You know, they, they don't care who fires who for what. Because they figure there's always another warm body out there to replace you they don't care about you they could care less that isn't that was the most eye-opening company i've ever worked at so un-american they are not american they have such a communist behavior pattern about them it's shocking that it's inside the united states but jeff bezos is an ass he don't give a shit about nobody or nothing the way they've got things set up they don't own no properties Amazon floats. If Amazon goes belly up, it means nothing to him because he's got it all set up to where it won't affect him. Of course, he's not part of that anymore, but it won't affect the leadership or nothing anymore. The people who work there will suffer. Yeah, go to work there and find out what a communist company is like within <laughs> the United States. I'm sure there's plenty more. And crappy people. But I had fun. The people I worked with were from local. And we had a lot of fun working together. We had a lot of fun accomplishing, making sure the stuff that came in, and we got it on, on the floor, got it online. That was the whole objective of it, is to get it online so you could buy it. All right, I'm gibbering enough. <clears throat> so pool noodle guy, the guy that does the WD 
His name is Tracy Mills, I think. I love to watch him, but he plugged a girl last night uh, talking about how she um, has good content in her videos, and she probably does. And I was going to look her up and see what, you know, he said she had fix-it tips and hacks and recipes, and that was good content. So, <laughs> I bet he don't say that about me. <laughs> All right, y'all, go have some fun. Our heat wave left, so we got like fall-like weather now. Yoo-hoo. Bye.